This is the iOS guide for installing Intune on your iPad or iPhone so that you can access your college emails and 365 data. If you've installed and set up your emails or 365 data without enrolling in Intune, you'll receive an email like this which asks you to download the company portal app and follow the instructions that we're going to do in a second. If you don't have emails or 365 data on your iPhone or iPad and you'd like to, follow these instructions. The first thing we'll do is go to the App Store and we'll do a search for the company portal. So if we just do a search for Intune, the company portal comes up, download and install this, and after it's downloaded, open it up. You'll sign in with your college email address. and you'll be redirected to a further sign-in page where you'll enter your college password. Read the details of what we can see we're only interested in securing the, da the college data on your device. But nevertheless, if you prefer, you can read through the documentation and you can contact the help desk if you've got any concerns. We now need to download a management profile. Click on continue. and click on Allow to download that. Older versions of iOS will allow you to install it from within here. This is a newer version of iOS, so we'll need to go to the Settings app, and we'll need to go to Profile. Here's that Management Profile, and we we'll click Install. and we click Trust. Right, the profile is now installed. Let's go back to the company portal. Allow it to send notifications and we'll continue. After a few seconds it will have completed and we just click on Done. We're now asked to choose the category. Is it a personal device? or is it a corporate device, i.e. one that's provided by the college. College devices connect automatically to a hidden corporate Wi-Fi network, and we can also push out applications to corporate devices. So for this, we'll choose corporate device, and we'll click Continue. This is the company portal app that you can contact support from directly. You can also see the device in here. This is our new iPad. And we can see that the iPad is in compliance. That means it has encryption enabled and it has a PIN number.